Okay, Slay, welcome back. Thank you. Sorry about that. That was pretty fucked up. I was just minding my own business. Let me see what I can do. Probably should have done this before. I want to say it's dunk, but it might be dunk. <clears throat> we'll see. Because the thing is, is that it's never my fucking internet that's the problem. Are those pocket tissues? For me? Thank you. I don't need any more pocket tissues. Um. Huh? I knew, I was, that's what I was thinking, Majima. That guy wasn't there before. The hell is that? I don't recall there being a statue there. Well, here's a well-made statue. What's it doing in a place like this, though? Pretty amazing detail, too. Wonder what they make this stuff out of. Ah! Huh? Am I hearing voices now? Eh, whatever. This statue, though, sure looks lifelike. Doesn't feel like plaster at all. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what the hell, man? You're alive! <sighs> hey now, buddy. That tickled. No touching, please. Think of my act like a classy strip club. You can look, but keep your hands off the performer. Performer? That's what I am. A street performer. I go by the name... Toko Kichi. Sorry. What I'm doing now is performance art. I'm playing the part of a statue, as you can see. Okay, I get the picture. You're really good. I thought you actually were a statue. But why were you doing this here? I like how his first instinct was to touch him. That's so funny. Oh, you didn't know? This area is the Holy Land for buskers. Holy Land? The hell? Heaven, not hell. The heavy foot traffic means we get a very steady audience. And the locals here love a good comedy bit, so they have a great eye for quality. It's my lucky spot. Well, I guess if you put it that way, this bridge does have its benefits. So you're practicing your act? Yes, that would be fair a fair description. Ultimately, I hope to be a street performer who inspires little kids to dream big. I think street performances are entertainment that anyone can enjoy, from kids who just learn to speak to the elderly for <laughs> to the elderly for getting words. I want to make people smile. That's a grand dream. Good on ya. Well, I wish you the best, and I'll be moving on. Sorry to disturb. Oh no, it's fine. See ya. There's a guy who's got a dream worth dreaming. Hope he makes it come true. Maybe I'll check back later to see how he's getting on. All of Majima's side quests are like, let's come back later, and I fucking hate that shit. What a weird ass statue, by the way. Um, we'll come back later though. Let's get some takiyaki, or whatever it's called, I forget. Takiyaki. Who are you? You've got some crazy ass hair. Hey, buddy. I'm a telephone card collector. Got any cards I could see? I just want to take a look, that's all. I might have some. You only want to take a look, though? I used to collect it myself, but after I see a card for the first time, I just kind of lose all interest in it. That's why I don't mind just admiring someone else's collection. That makes you a pretty odd collector, don't it? Why don't you just drop the hobby? No, I can't give it up. I couldn't go on living without reveling in telephone card collections. I... I need them. To each his own. Fine, I don't mind showing you my cards. Oh. Don't bother with incomplete sets, though, yeah? Only full three-card sets really do it for me. There's three-card sets? You know how cards got A, B, or C on them? It's because there's three different cards for each girl. When you complete a set, come and show me. You're a picky guy, ain't you? But fine, I'll swing by and show you if I end up with a set. That was not where I was supposed to fucking go. Oh. Is this... Takiyaki? Hey! Oh, it is takoyaki. Hey, perfect timing. I just made a fresh batch. Get them while they're hot. I will buy takoyaki. Thank you. Perfect. Just what I wanted. Fuck it. Let's get like three. Oh. I can't get more than one. That's kind of fucked up. Thank you. Make sure you eat them before they get cold. Okay. Got the takoyaki. Nice and hot. Let's get it back to her before it gets cold. Are we on a fucking timer? Be honest with me. If that's the case, let's fucking focus.
There's a guy that way, which... Hmm? Oh shit, is that? Yeah, it's that street performer guy. Drew himself a good-sized audience, too. Mm -hmm. Nice to see. Hmm? Ugh. Huh? <laughs> what's he doing? Making smoke signals? I better get closer and see what's up. <laughs> Yo, Toko Tokokichi, you're pulling in a good crowd. Y yes, that's been good at least. So, you seem to be trying to tell me something there. What's up? Yes, I, uh, I need to use the restroom. Oh, man. Mama, why is that man talking to the statue? <laughs> Shh, he's just a little different. It's rude to stare. Psst. Thanks to you, people think I'm a nut job. <laughs> Sorry, but you're the one talking to a statue. So why are you calling me over about your, uh, problems? There's a pizza place right over there. Why not make a beeline for their crapper? No way! I can't do that. There's a little kid watching. If he saw a statue suddenly spring to life, he might be traumatized for life. I guess that's true. I don't want to shatter that boy's dreams, but I do need to go relieve myself. My eyes are floating. What should I do? Hey man, ignoring nature's call never ends well. Why don't you just sneak off when the little tyke ain't watching? Sneak off when he's not looking? But Th that's it! What? what I got a bad feeling about this. I really hate to ask, but can you distract these people just long enough for me to sneak off to the pizza place? Who, me? Yes, you. Naturally, I'll compensate you for your trouble. I'm sure you can do it. I don't know why, but I just know. But, but, please, if I don't go soon, I'll traumatize more people here than just that boy. Hmm, what to do? Well, he's got a piss. What are you gonna do? I, I'm, I'm a piss, I'm a pisser defender. That's me. Fine, fine, I'll help you. I expect you to make good on this if I pull it off, though. Of course. Thank you. Like we should break dance. Okay, how do I give these folks attention? Guess I could try raising my voice. Wail like a banshee. Shout, look, a UFO. That one will traumatize him, and that's not the goal. Let's go with a UFO sighting. Not the most creative approach, but... Hey, what's that? Up in the sky! Look! It's a UFO! Huh? huh? A UFO? Where? Where? Oh, their asses were so distracted. A UFO? There. Now's your chance, Tokokichi. Tuck and roll. <laughs> he is not tucking or rolling very fast. What the heck? There ain't no UFO up there. Eh, forget it. This statue's the real deal. Oh shit. He only got so far. Huh. What? Am I imagining things? Wasn't that statue over this way a bit more? Well, at least he managed to scoot a little. What to do next? Maybe a little performance would draw their interest. Do a dance, sing a song. Oh my god. I don't know how much more of these I got left in me, man. I also have to run an ad. We'll sing a song. No. If I do a dance, it's too quiet. I think. Alright, time to debut my singing chops. Out of the blue, I bring my singing to you. No one looked. Oh? Haha! -ha. You gotta be brave to break out singing a cappella in public. You got pipes, buddy. Oh, I think I know this song. Okay, they're distracted. Now's your chance, Tokogichi! Hold your ass! Faster! Huh. Acapella's not all that exciting, though. Back to the statue. Shit. <laughs> huh? 
you idiot! You're facing the wrong way! Oh. Mama, statue saw turns turned around. I wasn't imagining it. The statue is moving! Crap! This cover's blown! Now what? Hey! One-eyed Willy! You're annoying as hell! Hmm? Quit your lame-ass singing! What's wrong with you, man? Think you're some kind of street idol? Listen, pal. Trust me on this one. I ain't singing because I want to. <laughs> Bullshit. I saw you prancing around. You enjoy being dumb. And I'm going to beat the shit out of you for it. What? Watch your ass, man. This is pretty distracting, to be fair. All right, hit him with the Y. That's... That was a really good Y. Whoa, he got my ass. Oh, shit. I was supposed to bring this to her quickly. Dickhead. <clears throat> it's supposed to be hot. Ugh. I'm sorry. Please, let me go. Spineless blowhard. Wow, that was spectacular. What the? Wow, man, you rocked it, buddy. That was awesome, mister. You were like one of those heroes on TV. Well, I don't know how I did it, but I've got everybody's attention on lockdown. Now, Tokokichi, escape! Good man, good man. There! He made it to the pizza place's porcelain throne. What? The, the statue! It's gone! <laughs> eh? It is gone. How did that happen? Mama, where did this where did statue stand go? I I don't know. I'm not sure how that works. Mm. So weird. But I guess I got a free show out of it. So fine by me. Oh no. I'm meeting someone. I have to run. We should be on our way too. Yeah, but that was fun. There. Guess that's the end of that. My savior! Yo, did you make it to the crapper in time? Yes, you were so good at distracting everyone, I made it before the potty emergency got real. Crisis averted. Is that so? I'm glad to hear it. Gotta hand it to you, though. It ain't easy, an easy thing holding people's attention. That's the truth. People think it's easy to draw attention to yourself, but what they don't understand is how hard it is to hold it once you've got it. Uh-huh. You street entertainers are something else. That's music to my ears. When I hear recognition like that, it makes it all worthwhile. It's not much, but please take this with my thanks. Got a stamina and royale. Oh, yeah. By the way, you've got a real talent for performing in public yourself, you know. I don't know about that. No, you really do. You have an air about you that really holds people's interest. Your action-packed performance at the end was the icing on the cake. It was so amazing, I just couldn't look away. It was oh, so inspiring that I almost forgot to sneak off. But that brawl wasn't a performance. It really was spectacular. It made me realize how much more I need to grow as a performer. You inspired me to keep working hard at this. Well, thank you very much. I hope you'll keep honing your performance chops too. Let's both keep bringing smiles to people's faces. Hey, I told you I'm no entertainer. <laughs> well, there goes an odd duck, but you gotta respect that it ain't easy making people laugh or bringing them joy. Being an entertainer is tough as any other business. The Entertainer's Throne? That's such a funny ass name, by the way. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna run my ad. <laughs> Crazy ass bitches too. I know. So weird. Anyway. I before it goes cold and I gotta buy a new batch. That's so fucked. Let me check if I have to buy a new batch. Equipment. No. No, we're at inventory. But I weird inventory. Eat them while they're hot. Piping hot. Piping hot. Okay, we're safe. Okay, I will be right back. I have to run my ad. Everybody sit tight. I'll return shortly.
Okay, I'm back now. Let's Keep fucking get out of here. This way. This, this way. Alright. No more distractions, no more side missions. Thank you, it's good to be back. If I'm lucky... Whoop, move. Oh my god, Mr. Shakedown. We have to fucking kill him. I'm just kidding. No, we don't. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Fuck off. I don't want to talk to you. Oh, shit. Side quest stuff. <laughs> I need to... I need to... I need to do this. <laughs> Alright, I got some smoking hot takoyaki. Hopefully it'll help her calm down a little. Did I say thank you, it's good to be back? I'm sorry if not. Thank you, it's good to be back. I said it now. I love forgetting if I said things. Oh, hey, got that snack for you. Takoyaki. Thank you. Feel yourself calming down now? Yeah. But now I'm hungry. Well, good thing I have some takoyaki. <laughs> That's a good sign. People are machines and food, food's fuel. Give me half a shake, I'll have a plate ready for you. Um. Yeah? What? What happened to your eye? It was stabbed. Mm. Well, you said you lost vision in one of your eyes. I was curious how it happened. Oh, right. Yeah, in my case it was an injury. Almost more of an accident. Totally destroyed. <coughs> That's terrible. Nah, I still got one. And hey, it does the job. Poor thing. Huh? Huh? You deaf? I'm a lot better off than you, ain't I? But mine is caused by emotional trauma, so there's a chance I'll recover. That's what Lisan said. That true? So you still got hope then? That's great. But yours is... That's He's still... I'm used to it now. It doesn't slow me down any. My only complaint is that it ruins such a handsome face. And actually, it makes you ten times cooler. So you're handsome. I was with a matching pair with an eye. I was with a matching pair of eyes anyway. Cry and shame I can't show you. <laughs> that is a shame. We have to. Please stop being attracted to him. We have to kill you, otherwise. There it is. Nice to hear that laugh on its way back. We barely know each other. Hmm? Wait. You wear a wristwatch? Huh? Oh, yes. <laughs> Ain't that a little odd for a blind girl? <laughs> I suppose. But it's cute, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's fine. <laughs> That's my whole point. How would you even know? Yeesh. I know it's strange, but this one plays a little music box charm. It sounds so cute, it always makes me smile. That is actually a fuck fucking cool ass watch. If it plays music. Huh, what's it sound like? It doesn't play anymore. The watch is broken. Oh. That's sad. Are you kidding me? Some things you just can't throw away, you know? Even if it seems pointless to other people, some things are just really important to you. Talking to her is so awkward, I don't know how to describe it. I lost my sight. Lost all track of time. The watch broke, the chime stopped playing. I know. I have no need for it now. But it's a memento of back when my life was still normal. 
If I got rid of it, I feel like I'd never... Hey, now. Still. I would love to hear it chime again. Well, let's fucking fix it for her. I feel like it's now our job to do that. I get it. Huh? If you can't bring yourself to throw it away, keep it. Hang on to it long enough, and eventually it'll bring you good luck. Good luck. Eventually. I guess. <laughs> lying out of his ass. Hmm? What's wrong? You're right. It's silly. It's because I keep clinging to stuff like this that I still can't face reality. Hey. It's fine. Thank you. You're very kind. I appreciate that. That ain't right. If you feel like you still need it, then it's something you still need. I believe that, really. No, it's fine. I... I need to get stronger. I will get stronger. I hope she starts killing people. That'd be awesome. She'd slay so hard. Let's teach her how to use a gun. <laughs> oh yeah, we should keep it. So true. So true. And then we fix it and then give it back to her. Azea. <laughs> oh. And I got some news. Your boy Lee says he's got something on... He's got, got to look into on his end. So true, give I'll have him come straight here to get you once he's done. Just sit tight till then, yeah? Okay. Are you leaving? I'm, I got shit to do. Like all these side quests. Yeah, it's about time I got to work. You ever heard the name Sagawa before? A Yakuza with the Omi Alliance. I don't know him. Gotcha. Could be Sagawa's only doing it because someone else told him to. Still, why is a girl like you got Yakuza after her? Yeah, you're chill as hell. So this Sagawa person blackmailing So is this Sagawa person blackmailing you into this? Close enough. But I ain't innocent here. Killing you was the price of him doing me a favor. He was gonna get me back in the Tojo clan. Tojo clan? Nothing you need to worry about. So then. What happens if you keep letting me live? Will the that Yakuza come and kill you? I'll be fine. Lee says he's got some kind of plan. If that works, could be the both of us come out of this alive. That's what he made it sound like, anyway. Really? Hey, the guy's your boss, right? Have a little faith. Alright, I'll be back as soon as work's over. You good? Yes. Maybe I'll even bring you a little treat. I don't know what we got at the Grand, but maybe a little treat. A little treat never hurt anybody. Especially someone who's gone through as much as you and I. Which is, uh, like, ominously similar stuff, but... Hmm. Maybe I'll drop by a cabaret club like Yamagata Han suggested on my way back to check in the, at the Grand. I might have seen one in the Hoganji Yokocho area, maybe. It's worth a check. Yeah, you say shit. You say whatever you want. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh! Do they have to? I feel like... I feel, I feel like Majima should be the one throwing money. You know what I mean? Like, money is no consequence to him. And I guess it's not any consequence to Kiryu either. Like, money is not either one of their motivations. But, like, if we're gonna buy the empty lot, we're gonna need a lot of cash. To my knowledge. So I feel like having him have the throw the money power is a little weirder than Majima having the throw the money power. Also, I don't have any money as Majima. I don't know how to fucking make any. Nope, we need to go this way. Sorry. Up, 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 up. 
I have to check on my toilet graffiti conversation. Obviously. <coughs> That's the toilet where I wrote back to the graffiti. Should I check it out? Obviously. God damn, you guys are loud in this area. Holy fuck, it's, a, it's a, like a little corner park. Jesus. All right, which one of these scribbles is our exchange? What are you like? There's where she wrote, what are you like? And my reply was, I wear a suit at work. That's what I wrote in reply. Yeah. Hey, there's some new writing under my reply. And it's the same handwriting. I like that. When you see this message, can you come to the phone booth in Sofukucho West? I can't wait to meet you. What? The lonely lady wants to meet? I'll have a red rose in my lapel. I'll be waiting. Don't stand me up. Rena. Wow, so the lonely lady is named Rena. Can't believe I'm actually making a connection through a bathroom graffiti. So true. Her message looks fresh. If I haul it down to the phone booth and so show Fukucho West, maybe I'll catch lonely Rena. And that'll be fun. Let's fucking recall where that shit is. Okay, show Fukucho West. Oh my god, that is so far away. I actually don't know. Fuck, move, Jesus Christ. Hi, Christmas tree. Hi, Odyssey. I don't want to talk to you guys. Shit! I was way far away from that. I could have made it fast. <laughs> Hell yeah! That's what life is all about, I think. Oh, Jesus! Can I beat people while they're down? I might try that. I, ha I don't typically move my... Thing around so we'll certainly see pardon me excuse me everyone pardon me fucking move pussy oh Jesus get up motherfucker we've got a woman to meet oh actually it's this way sorry it's this way ooh Girl card! Haha! -ha. Rena, the lonely lady, is supposed to be waiting around here, wearing a red rose on her lapel. Hmm. Not seeing her, though. Oh, fuck, they were lying. <laughs> Check it out, fellas! We got ourselves a sucker! Hmm? We got a problem, gents? You came here hoping to meet a lovely lady, didn't you? Sucks to be you. She doesn't exist. Yeah, pussy handwriting. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> We're the sexy lady you're looking for, my friend. <laughs> One of you fools has the pretty handwriting? Really? Are you thick or what? There was never a woman. She doesn't exist, you dumbass. <laughs> damn it all. All it takes is the scent of a woman to get dumb shits like you to come running. Their dicks out and their tongues popping out of the zipper. You should see the looks on their faces when we beat the shit out of them and take anything worth taking. Strangest thing too, they never seem to go to the cops afterward. Guess nobody wants to tell the fuzz that they let their dicks do the thinking. <laughs> Pretty goddamn clever, ain't it? Huh? Oh, it's clever alright. You finally figure it out? Then get ready to lose the fancy clothes and all the cash you got on ya. This is the funniest situation I think possibly ever. Oh my god, he has a fucking weapon. We should- okay, I can't seem to hit people while they're on. So feel free to jot that down. I'm just gonna start doing whatever the hell I want. I should probably kiss. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, wait, now we have to kill Hazel guy. Like, that shit's crazy. Okay, good man. Focus. 
All right, hit him with the Y. Wow, that's what life is all about. Oh, Jesus. All right, hit him with another one. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Why? I just don't get it. Ugh, we screwed with the wrong guy. We're sorry. We'll stop luring people here with our pretty handwriting. Please take this and forgive us. You got a calming towel. Serves me right, really. Can't believe I fell for the oldest trick of the book. It's a men's bathroom to begin with. Why would a woman be in there signing her name in graffiti? Rena, my ass. Wait, a bathroom? Rena? We were writing on a bulletin board at the train station under the name Mayumi. Huh? What? Well, screw it anyway. You fools better not ever get up to this kind of tomfuckery ever again. Got it? Y yes, sir. Never again. Oh my god, Rena's real. That'd be so funny. Yo, yo, John, wait for me. <sighs> Heh, serves you right for being so gullible, Goro. I ain't gonna forget this for a long while. Oh my god, there she is. I guess the man in the suit isn't coming after all. What a shame. Goro, no! Turn around! <laughs> That's okay. He he really shouldn't have gone anyway. <laughs> Alright, luckily we're close. Hold on. Let me check my... Let me check the map. I'm also fucking dying, but that's, you know... Neither here nor there. Okay, we finished the bathroom bullshit. I think that's all. Mr. Shakedown alert. Okay, we're actually facing in the perfect direction to eat a little <gasps> at the sink at the store. At the store where our friend is. Oh Jesus. Guys, I have to eat. My friend is waiting for me. Maybe he will like me more if I spend more money at his school. What do you think? I did not need to hit him. Why? That shit was not worth my time. Okay. I love killing two guys at the same time. It's my favorite activity. They should stand in line more often. <laughs> Okay. Turn around, motherfucker. Aw, oh, Jesus. <laughs> you know, statue guy was right. <laughs> Multiple guys? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Now we get to go hang out with our friend at this location. Comain or Comain or Comain. I'd love to eat here. Thank you. Yeah. This way, please. Thank you. Ah, oh, Majima san. Welcome. What'll I have today? Fuck it, the Wagyu. I'm gonna see. I got the cash for it. It did not go up very significantly. Pretty damn good. How was the food? It was great, thanks. I'm happy to hear that. Please come again. Ah, not much friendship happening there, but that's alright. We can come back. Another time. The masculine urge to sit here and just come back over and over again is pretty strong, but I won't do that. Because I feel like that's probably a little bit annoying. <laughs> Actually, the friendship did benefit us in Kiryu's route, where they start working for us at our company. So maybe something similar happens with Majima, where they start helping us or whatever, if we become buddies with them. But I'm not sure. 
Whoops. Bu the bully map moves with you, so the Yakuza map really fucks me over. Ano, Care for a little break, okay, sir? You won't regret paying us a, vis a visit here. Oh. Hmm? My name is Yura, and I'm the manager here. Come in now, and I can pair you with our number one girl. What do you say? Sure, fuck it, we will. Sunshine, huh? Didn't know there was a spot like this tucked back in this part of town. You guys a cabaret? No, sir. We're a cabaret club. Cabaret club? Well, that's just perfect. Still ain't been in one of those. Then this is the perfect opportunity. Cabaret clubs are an excellent time, sir. A guy like Yamagata wouldn't recommend them without good reason. Gotta be something to it. Guess it's worth a look. If it's the same shit that we've seen, all right, lead the way. But I expect you to make good on that promise about your number one gal. Of course, sir. Right this way. But yeah, if it's the same shit we've seen where we're just sat down with the woman, ah. Uh, it's empty in here. Maybe he was trying to kill us. Man, I've been to livelier graveyards than this. Not a soul in here besides me. No wonder I'm getting the best girl. Here we are, sir. Thank you for waiting. Huh? Huh? Where? Our very own number one girl, Yuki-chan. Hello, I'm Yuki. It's... It's nice to meet you. Y yeah, yeah. You too. For this club's top girl, she's pretty low-key. If she starts stripping or some shit, I'm gonna lose my mind. Um, let's start with the toast then, I guess. Er, right. Ch cheers! They knocked hands. Uh, is this lady seriously the best they got here? Uh, um, sorry. Uh, I know I'm not really... I'm sorry. Uh, huh? Uh, yeah, what? Nah, that's... You're fine. Just... Are you really the number one gal here? That's so fucked to ask. Er, uh, yes. Uh, technically. See, there's only three of us working here, including me. <laughs> what? Three girls? Ain't that a little low? Explains why this place is a ghost town, though. Be nice to her, I know. I like her dress, actually. Like, it's a really pretty dress. I'm like, aw, so blue. Yeah, we were doing okay until a while ago, but since the five stars came around, every day's been like this. Five stars? What's that? The five stars of Sotenbori. There are five cabaret clubs in town that have muscled out all the rest. The five stars are what people call the owners of those clubs. There used to be a ton of cabaret clubs in Sotenbori, but ever since those five set up shop here, all the other clubs have had to shut down. Shut down? How come? Are the five stars clubs that much better than the rest? Well... Their clubs are really popular. No one would argue that. But that's not the only reason the competition's all folded. Is it because it sucks here? Or? Yeah? What else is there? Well, to put it bluntly, harassment, I guess you'd say. Harassment? I've had all the harassment from you I can take. Hmm? Crank calling us day in and day out, causing a scene during business hours to chase off our guests. I don't stand for it anymore. Well, her husband having it right now. If you'd beat me in honest competition, I could accept defeat gracefully. But this is just dirty. <laughs> Mind your manners now. Just where is your proof that I am behind any of this alleged harassment? I don't know, your face is kind of harassing me a little bit. <laughs> Oh, right. You have none. Oh my god, is he gonna teach us how to throw money? <laughs> Who's the rotund ton of fun? That's one of Sotenbori's five stars I was just telling you about. Huh. That guy? Yes. 
believe it or not, he's one of the stars. This name is Hito, owner of, Cl owner of Club Mars, which I've passed by before. Mars basically has a monopoly on the customers in this part of town. We're some of his last local competition, so he's been leaning on us hard. Hmm. Huh. I may not have proof, but you guys are the only ones who would stoop this low. If we close shop, the only cabaret clubs left standing in Stone Glory will be the ones you five stars run. That's the plan, right? Getting the full monopoly? <laughs> I'm surprised you've pieced that much together. Motherfucker, that's business. Good, that makes it simple. Close this Roche Motel and clear out. Except now, and I'll pay you a reasonable amount for your troubles. But if you continue to buy us, the terms of this little reward are going to be quite different. His outfit is also fucking atrocious. It's dots on dots on dots, and I think he should go to jail for it. Honestly, I'm offering to pay money for a trash pile like this. I would think you'd be thanking me. Get out. How many hard-working men and women have the five of you vultures put shit? You're just a gang of low-down, low dirty bullies, and I won't let you take over Sotenbori. I suppose that's the mark of a man running the once popular sunshine. You're tougher nut to crack than the other club owners were. Very well. I'll leave it at that for today. But I expect an answer on my next visit. We should kill him. We should kill him first. Y you've got my answer, and it's not changing. Don't bother coming back. So stubborn. But let's not be rude, hmm? I'll drop a a in again soon, neighbor. We should whip this place into shape. It's kind of fucking ugly in here. Oh, that's right. I meant to ask after your daughter. Living in Tokyo these days, isn't she? I must say I was surprised at just how adorable she is. Being a parent, there must be no end to the worry. Such a darling little girl. The thought of someone hurting her must keep you up at night. What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? That's crazy. What do you plan to do to her? Hmm? Me? Not a thing. But that doesn't mean that the sort of group who would hurt a child isn't out there. These are frightening times we're living in. Do be careful. I'll be seeing you soon. Dude, we gotta get this dude a makeover or something. Damn it. What am I supposed to do? Well, don't worry. Goro Majima is fucking here to save the day. Sir. Yeah, we gotta fucking kill the guy. What can I do? Looks like you got it pretty rough, boss. Oh, sir, I'm so sorry you had to see such a shameful display. Don't sweat it. I mean, what's that guy's problem? Sotenbori is five stars, was it? Why are they gunning for your club so hard? Can someone show me the difference between a cabaret and a cabaret club? Please, I'm fucking begging you. Sotenbori's five stars are colluding to form a monopoly on the city's cabaret clubs by forcing every club but their own out of business. Cabaret clubs are an up-and-coming industry with plenty of momentum behind it. At one point, Sotenbori was full of them, and it was a healthy com competitive market. But then the stars came in with their hand underhanded tactics, buying other clubs, girls, harassing their staff, hiring thugs to use violence, they crushed the competition. And now, the only cabaret clubs left in Sotenbori are the five and are the five they control and us. Gotcha. Makes sense why they'd be chomping at the bit to swallow you up and make that monopoly complete then. What I don't get is why they're that desperate to get total control of Sotenbori. I can't claim to know all of their plans, but from the rumors I've heard, they're planning to use their cabaret club Monopoly as a cudgel to crush the full cabarets. Crush the cabarets now? 
That's us. Yes, even with the rise of the cabaret clubs, the big block box cabarets like the Grand still control a great deal of money and power in the nightlife industry here. Their aim is to take those cabarets down and claim that cash, influence, and personnel network for themselves. Well, fuck, that's us. We can't be doing that. And apparently securing an airtight monopoly on the newly minted cabaret club industry is essential to them getting the leverage to tackle the cabarets. Now it makes sense. If they can get the cabaret clubs and the cabarets, they could have control of the whole city all to themselves. Exactly. But it isn't fair that clubs like ours should have to suffer such treatment for their ambitions. I'd sooner swallow glass than give in to them. Slay. But, much as I hate to admit it, their constant pressure and harassment has taken a ste steep toll on our business. Just have a look around. Pathetic, isn't it? Well, I'd be lying if I said this was anything but grim. If you can believe it, we were leading the pack just a short time ago. First, maybe second most popular club in the area. Then they started causing trouble here in the club. After a string of incidents, we'd lost our clientele, and most of our girls were poached. I fucking hate that 99% of the shit that has anything to do with women in this fucking game is these goddamn clubs. It pisses me off so fucking bad. At this rate, the club can't stay open long, no matter what I do. Perhaps accepting their offer really is the only sensible course. It boils my blood to think of letting those bullies have their way, but maybe that's reality. Don't much care what happens to this town, but the thought of dicks like that doing whatever they want pisses me off. Whoops, paused it. Plus, if I let them go now, there'll be trouble for the Grand's bottom line down the road. Which means trouble for me if I'm still around. I'm curious about the cabaret club business too. Maybe I'll try to learn a bit more about by helping around here a bit. All right, you twisted my arm, boss. I'll help you out. Sorry? Yeah, that cabaret the five stars are going after, the grand, I run the place. What? what? Manager of the grand? That's, you're the one everybody says is a genius. That's you? Don't know about genius, but yeah. So, it's in my own interest not to let those guys build up any more steam here. Not to mention they sound like a pack of, pack of flaming assholes. Flaming assholes is so funny. So, how's about you and me whip this place back into shape and fight, take the fight to them instead? You, you would really do that? I can't believe the manager of the Grand would waste his time on an empty little club like ours. Hey, we all gotta help each other in tough times, right? Besides, I'm interested in learning more about the cabaret club business model. This will be like a classroom for me. Th thank you so much, sir. Whoops, guess we still ain't been introduced. It's Majima. Let's stir up some shit. Majima-san, got it. Well, I'm in your debt, sir. This feels like kind of irrelevant, but Slay, uh, nonetheless. Huh, this the back office? Hey. Yes, it mostly serves as a staging area for the staff. I organize things back here, manage the girls, that sort of thing. Speaking of, what would you say to taking over as manager, Majima-san? Would you mind? <laughs> say what? Manager? Just like that? Hey. Yes, sir. You certainly have the experience, and I fear Sunshine can't reach its full potential under my direction. I'd give you total authority. Of course, I'd still be here supporting you in any way I can as floor staff. Will you do it, sir? <sighs> yeah, all right. If you're that serious about this, I'll do my part too. Leave it to me. Thank you so much! I'm at your disposal, Manager Majima. <laughs> Feels a little weird hearing that from you. Now, if it's all right with you, I'd like to jump right into an explanation of how a cabaret club is run. Thank you. I was curious. That said, there's a lot to cover, and I know you're a busy man. Let me know when it's a good time for you, sir. Oh, okay. You'll unlock the ability to switch protagonists using the hideout telephone. So now that we have both of them, we should be able to switch protagonists whenever we want, I think. Which is weird, because I won't swap back from Kiryu. Gotcha. Let's just do it now. 
Ah, Majima-san, I was thinking this might be a good time to run you through the basics of cabaret club management. Do you have a moment? Fuck yeah, brother. Ah. Yeah, lay it on me. Right. Then let's get to it. Okay, as a cabaret club czar... Czar? You need to operate your club, earn money, and grow your clientele, and ultimately crush your competition. Your final goal, to establish Sunshine as the undisputed top club in Sotenbori. You can open the club as well as manage the girls uh, who will form your active lineup by talking to Yuta inside Sunshine. As Sunshine's popularity increases and the clash with your rival clan clubs heat up, the drama will unfold. Drive those rivals out of business and you'll unlock new combat techniques Majima can learn to become even stronger. So bring the fight to them as aggressively as you can. By driving Sunshine's popularity up, you can transform it into a source of tremendous profit. Okay, so this was the thing I was fucking complaining about earlier. And anything you wish, anything you earn with the club is yours to spend however you wish. <laughs> I'm gonna invest in myself. Grow the club, smash the competition, and become the true cabaret club star. And get filthy rich in the process. I'd say that about covers the basics anyway. Need me to run back through that again? No, thank you. Nah, I got it. Thanks. Sure thing. In that case, the next step is... Hmm. Let's have you actually open the place and do a round of prep. This is the sort of thing where the quickest way to learn is to actually just do it. Let's give it a try. I'll chime in with advice uh. as we go. Alright. Let's do this thing. I fucking- I'm obsessed with his thumbs up thing. Like, it ruins my life every time he does it. I'm such a huge fan. Okay, there are three options in the top menu. Prepare to open, select staff for the shift, change their appearance, etc. <laughs> open for business, open the club for business, and start raking in the dough. Rival battles, enter a showdown with a rival club. So, hostess statistics. Each hostess has a different set of statistics, ability, various stats, showing the hostess's ability to entertain certain customers. Looks, physical appearance, <sighs> goes a long way in this line of work. The better the values, the easier it is for a hostess to ensure her guests have a good time and spend a lot, spend lots of cash at the club. Ability stats rises as she levels up. Like in any job, she gains experience by working shifts and undertaking training sessions. Special training. Only platinum hostesses can undergo special training. During special training sessions, Majima will sit down with the girl for a practice conversation or take her out on a mock date at a karaoke bar, for example. If training goes well, the hostess will earn a lot of experience points. Looks good on her resume, too. You can only train one girl one time before opening for business on a given night, but a well-trained staff will give your club an, an edge over your rivals. Hone their skills to crush the competition flat. Makeovers. You can freely change the looks of your platinum staff by choosing different outfits or applying new makeup. New hairstyles, dresses, and other items need to be purchased the first time. Afterwards, changing between them is free of charge, but only with the girl whom you bought the item. Change your hostess's looks stats by modifying her appearance, which will help her appeal to your customers' various tastes. Choosing a hostesses for a shift. Use the duty roster to assign hostesses to work the next shift. Play close attention to each hostess's condition as this will affect their performance. If a hostess is tired, the smart move is often to give her some time off of work to rest and recover. Hostesses with more skills or higher levels cost greater wages, which can affect your overall profits while operating the club. Once you have finished any preparations, you can open the club for business. First, choose which areas customers you want to target. The more rival clubs you defeat, the more areas will be available. As you gain more fans in an area, more customers will show up, and more of them will be big spenders. After each shift, you will gain more fans in the targeted area according to customer satisfaction. Oh my god, this shit's stupid as fuck. <clears throat> Ugh, there are girls. Yuki. What the hell? Okay, they're down there. I was like, where'd they go? She's the, the star of this club. She's a diamond in the rough who could shine. Okay. She's our platinum hostess, and these are our B rank hostesses. She's so. veteran with refined skills who used to work at a high end club. She works here because she loves to drink. She's good at livening things up. So true. Okay. 
makeover, I think, is key here. I actually think her hairstyle is fucking fine. It's her dress that's the actual problem. Whoa. That's fucking lingerie. <laughs> Girl profile. Girl profile. So true. Ooh, the green one. Standard. Somebody say I'm the girl with a drink and I'm for wise. Every man seems so happy to see me. Her style. Do I look nicely enough? I got dress up before you. Look at me, this is my love all for you. Wait, what the fuck dress did I just pick? Okay, the dress actually doesn't fucking matter, which is crazy. Because the dress was like my biggest, like... I'm not changing her hair color. Her hair color is fine. This? The level of detail is kind of fucking crazy. It doesn't matter. Actually, hold on. Let's give her a little lip. Just a little lip. A little lip never fucking hurt anybody. <laughs> I don't think the accessories are super necessary. Coordinated set? Oh, okay. And... Okay. Slay. Can I fucking make over anyone else or is it just her? Well, let's special train Yuki. I think they're just trying to get us to like pick the one. Okay, let's do a little conversational training. Hi. Y yes, thank you for your help with this. What's up, Yuki-chan? You nervous or something? N no, I wouldn't call it nerves. It's more like... Battle butterflies. Mm -hmm. That's so? Well, I guess that's encouraging enough. All right, you ready to pretend I'm a customer? Hi. Well, I, I, you were like 20 minutes ago. Y yes, H hello customer. I I'm Yuki. I look forward to a fun conversation with you. Uh, you sure you've got this? <laughs> okay, well, let's start with an easy topic. Tell me about some hobbies of yours. Sh sure. Hobby talk. Um, so all I have to do is tell you about them, right? Yep. Come to think about it, I don't know much about you either. Let's use this a little practice to get better acquainted, eh? Hobbies. Okay, let's see here. Hobbies. Hobbies. Ah! Hmm? Got anything? Yes. I don't have any hobbies. <laughs> Girl moment. Hey, hey, if you want to be a hostess, that kind of talk ain't going to cut it. You got you just flatlined the whole conversation. But I really don't have any hobbies. Oh, I doubt it counts as a hobby, but I do write in my diary every day. Girl moment. So true. A diary, huh? That's a great start, actually. What do you write about in it? Oh, just boring stuff like what happened today, what I should make for dinner, how my bonsai plant's growing, that kind of thing. Hey, bonsai is a hobby. I'm I'm bonsaiing up, dude. Wait, wait, back up a bit. Bonsai? Huh? Wouldn't you think about that tending 
bonsai would count as a hobby? I bet your or older clientele would love hearing you babble on about that. <gasps> oh, I see. You're right. That was so fucking Animal Crossing coded. You're, that might work, Majima-san. You're a lot sharper than you look. Are you saying I look dumb, Yuki-chan? Anyway, why don't you mention your bonsai hobby in the first place? Uh, I only have about eight years experience with bonsai, and in the bonsai world, that makes me a nobody. A more experienced hobbyist would just laugh at me. Eight years for this fucking batshit insane. Hmm, I see. Well, I think it's pretty amazing. <laughs> you really clam up when the guest stops talking, don't you? Yeah, I guess I do. It's just, I feel like it would be impolite if I just started talking all of a sudden. Yeah. Impolite? That ain't the right idea at all. Our customers are here specifically to talk to girls, Suki chan You've got to lead them in with some topics. This job sounds so fucking stressful. I think if I were doing this job, I would kill myself. Conversation? And I have to do it? Are you crazy? Are you insane? I'd kill myself. That here, here's a conversation starter. I'm blowing my brains out in front of you to change the trajectory of your life forever. But, but I don't have a clue about what I should talk. Okay, I don't have a clue what I should talk to them about. What should I do if it gets quiet? Try to compliment them feels good, because then it's like a conversation. If you're drawing a blank on something to talk about, try a compliment. Ain't a man in the world who would turn down a compliment. A compliment? Like, say something nice about his face or something? Yeah, sure, we ball. Yeah, his face, his voice, maybe his personality. If he looks even a little well off, try saying something nice about his clothes, his shoes, or hell, even his watch. Wow, oh, now I, Majima san, I think this is the first time I felt I can really look up to you. I guess you don't wear a janky eye, that janky eye patch for me. So funny. Wait, is that your idea of a compliment? What? what? I was trying really hard to compliment you. I I'm so sorry. She's so funny. Oh boy. The road to success is going to be a long and bumpy for you, Yuki-chan. But she's so slay. She's so slay as queen. Let's see. What else is a good conversation starter? Do you have some kind of talent, maybe? Eh, on second thought, scratch that. What are you talking about? Even I have something I'm good at. Yeah, tell him! Tell his ass! Oh, no kidding? Okay, what is it? Um, well, I'm... Uh, older people do tend to like me. Hey, you see, everybody's got a hidden talent. That'd make you perfect for the older clientele. Uh, oh, maybe you're right. I was always my grandpa's favorite, so I bet that's why I can speak a little more naturally in front of older customers. Slay, she's a dil she's a guild enjoyer. Hey now, why didn't you tell me sooner? We can't be letting a talent like that go to waste, Yuki-chan. Mujima-san, I'm sorry, but thank you. The training is going great. Then it's decided. Yuki-chan, you're gonna be our older customer older customer specialist. Every grandpa who walks in here is gonna get assigned to you. Eh, what? I'd like to talk to some younger clients too. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's change gears. Why don't you tell me about a weakness you've got instead? Anything come to mind? Weaknesses? I have a lot of those. <laughs> At least she's honest. <sighs> Why does that not surprise me? Shut the fuck up, Majima. Mind your business. Hey, don't be rude. Yeah, tell him. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Well, if you've got a lot, how about you pick one for me? Anything's fine. Let me think. To be honest with you, I, I guess I'm not very good at talking to men. You picked a really good career. Slay? Eh? If you're no good at talking to men, why the hell would you work in a place like this? 
Um, that's, uh, it's because... Oh, I know. It's because I'm not good at it. I thought I could get used to talking to men by working here. She's really thinking. Exactly. <sighs> Yo, you do realize I'm a man too, right? No, she doesn't see it. She only sees your feminine wiles. Whoops, paused it. Oh, that's true. But Mijima-san, I can talk to you just fine. <laughs> and why is that? Because I'm such a supportive and considerate guy? <laughs> I don't think so. I'm probably okay with you because you don't seem like a man at all. Your feminine wiles, dude. What did I say? Hey, what the hell does that mean? I'm sorry. Love her. <laughs> She's my favorite, I think. All right, I think that's a good stopping place. Th thank you for the lesson. Sure thing. Good job. So, let's see. <laughs> it was a perfect lesson. Wow. I was having such a good time, I practically forgot we were training you. R really? That's great. Thank you so much. Keep it up, and you'll have these customers melting like chocolate on a dashboard. You really think so? I do feel more confident now. I'll do my best to work harder. Level two, level three. Yes, let's go. She's fucking hysterical. I dive her. Okay, special training is over. Cast on duty. We have to fucking change their outfits at least. Like, you have to let me change their outfits, please, please, God, let me change their outfits. Like, they won't. Nope. Sorry, I can't do that. Prepare to open. Like, why won't they let me... They won't let me change the fucking outfits. And I'm gonna fucking kiss myself goodnight about it. I have to open for business. That's so fucked. Target Mar Club Mars area customers. Sure. Uh, I it's, it's just... It's just a tutorial. いらっしゃいませ. Welcome, sir. Well, welcome. Oh my god. Your objective is to make as much money as possible before the shift ends. When a customer comes in and takes a seat, assign him a hostess. Different customers have their own preferences when it comes to looks or ability. Choose a girl that matches their type and they will happily spend a fortune in your club. Serving customers gradually tires the hostess out, lowering her hospitality points. Without HP, she will be unable to provide high quality service, so let her rest until her HP recovers. The money gauge at the bottom right corner of the screen shows how much cash your guests have spent in the club at the time. Receiving orders from customers also fills up the money gauge. Press RB when it is full to cut loose and trigger party time. Party time will put customers in a fevered state that loosens their inhibitions and their purse strings. There are plenty of benefits to party time, like HT, HP restoration for, bonus, for hostesses. Charge up the money gauge to higher levels to make party time, party time even more effective. It's a happy hour without the discounts. <laughs> oh shit, happy 905 for money. Press Y to approach a customer's table. If trouble arises, it's time for the check or if a hostess calls for your help. Your, you will be shown several options. Making the right decision can boost customer satisfaction or pacify any troublemakers. Checking in on tables is an opportunity to lend your staff a helping hand. Wait too long and you may lose your chance, so keep your eye open and hurry on over when you spot a signal. If a guest is happy with his hostess when it is time for the check, you can suggest you can try suggesting an extension. The customer will stay longer and go into a fever state, sp spending money like there's no tomorrow. Getting mega rich customers to agree to an extension is a foolproof way to boost sales and keep your girls milking the golden cash cow. As your club makes a name for itself, some customers will come in requesting a specific platinum hostess. Shift the girls around to fulfill these requests as they arrive. Everyone's got a favorite. Two result screens appear after closing up. The first displays your profits, and the second shows your staff's improvement for the day. 
Hostesses earn experience points based on their sales numbers. To level up a hostess more quickly, assign her guests, assign her to guests more often. Your club will earn more fans depending on its performance. To increase your popularity in a certain area, make sure to target it when opening for business and send your customers home happy. As your popularity increases, so will the quality of your customer base, and with it, your profits. I did not understand any of that, mainly because I wasn't paying attention. I will not be reading it again. To progress the five-star storyline, you will need to reach a particular number of fans in each area. All right. Okay, rock on. I have to fucking do this for three straight minutes? That's crazy. Am I supposed to go over there? Hold on. What am I doing? What the fuck is going on? Put her down. Oh my god, okay. There. Oh, okay, poor as in they are physically literally poor. What does the red thing mean? Guest has arrived. Okay, fucking go over here, please. Oh, okay, that's their like talking bar. Hi, Trilla, how are you? Check, please. How the fuck do I do check, please? Okay, fucking hold your horses. Okay. This shit's so fucking confusing. What is going on? Trouble? Well, go there. No, don't, don't switch, girls, you piece of shit. Yeah, fucking sure. Sure. Okay. Go here, please. I've been here a while, but I was super engrossed in Dragon's Dogma. Hope that's going well. Glad you're enjoying it. I'm pretty good. A little confused, admittedly. Party. Could not see guests due to lack of girls. Okay, sure. Sure. Why Zoom? Extend session. We won't bother with that. Very good, very good. Okay, fucking did it. Nailed that shit. Oh shit. Okay, help please zoom in. Why is the zoom in button? She's giving a signal. What the fuck? Towel? You misread her hands. What? Oh. I didn't know. <laughs> we'll zoom. Oh shit. Okay, that's fine. But fine, I don't care. Okay. Oh, check, please. Let's zoom the fuck in. Thank you. Very good. Okay. God damn, this is hard. Okay. Great. Enjoy that. Okay, I can only zoom in when they need me. Okay. This one is more helped up, so you enjoy your time with her. Okay. Don't fucking panic. Why? What the fuck is a hand signal? No one taught me the hand signals! Uh, why? C. What the fuck does that mean? A, B, C? 
high school. Ah! Uh, ah! What? Where was the reading of the hand signals, huh? Where was it? Jesus, I'm gonna kill myself. Jesus Christ! Running a club's a lot harder than I thought. Okay, we're done. Woo! <laughs> that shit was awful. Okay. Kind of made crazy money, though. Okay. She kind of killed that shit, for sure. Hell yeah, Trilla. Happy to hear you're glad. Or you're good. Sorry. And glad. Fuck it. We ball both. Rank F. <laughs> I'm really good at this game. Um, I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Phew. Not too shabby. Still, we're short on guests and gals. There's no way around that. Is there no way around that outside of the daily grind? If we wanted to hire new girls, I suppose scouting them around town is the quickest way. You can add new girls to the club roster by scouting talent around Soot and Bori, or by trading in CP from the completion list at the temple. It'll be hard to outperform the competition with an empty roster, so try to fill it out as soon as possible. And word of mouth from everyday business is one way to bring new customers, but I hear signing deals with other local businesses is also effective. Some of Soot and Bori's shops will sign partnership deals with you for a price. Partner businesses will send their clients your way, growing Sunshine fan base in a hurry. More pro fans means more customers, which in turn means more profit, so sign deals with any hot spots you find. Makes sense. Scout for girls, partner up with local shops. Got it. Looks like I'm gonna be busy outside the club, too. Hi. Absolutely. The whole city is our battleground. There's a lot to do, but good luck, sir. I'll take my best crack at it, anyway. This place really needs more girls. Hardly any point to open in the doors as it stands now. Hmm. Ah! There's the girls over at the Grand I got from that from Odyssey in that trade. Long as we got Nozomi, we're covered at the Grand. Should be fine if I bring the rest over here. I'll put that I'll put in that call now. <laughs> Kiara Ki Kirara. I'm amazed, if not surprised, Majima san. Hard to believe that was your first time. I don't know, that's pretty believable. <laughs> Keep that up, and we might just really manage to beat those bullies back. And which bullies might those be exactly? Time to fucking beat them up. Which is exactly what I'm good at. Ugh, Hino. I'm here for your answer, as promised. Well, ready to sell this hovel to me yet? I told you before, the answer's no. I see. And I was ho so hoping to do this amicably. Shame. Alright, you lot. All right, let's fucking kill him. Mm -hmm. What are you? Teach the stubborn fool the reality of the situation. Uh, so you resort to violence in the end? You're a coward, Hino. <laughs> Sticks and stones. We'll see which comes first. You give me what I want or you die. Either way, I can't wait. Do it. Good. Hold up a second. Oh. What are you supposed to be? A guy. It's me. Name's Majima. Who Yudahans asked me to take over operations here. And as long as I'm standing, nobody's making trouble in my shop. <laughs> a new manager? Ha! <laughs> I see. I'll grant you, it's a wiser choice than letting a dimwit like Yuda keep running this dung hill into the ground. And you seem like you know your way around a fight. So you're the boss and the bouncer. Clever choice for an idiot. I'm impressed. Truly. What you want us to do? Take this guy out too? Yeah. No. I find myself curious to see how they plan to claw their way out of this hole. We can crush them anytime. I look forward to being entertained as I watch just how far you manage to crawl after making enemies of the five stars. You were lucky today, Yuta-san. And Majima-san? Well, why don't you try your best? If I get bored, I'll drop by and swat you down like the flies you are. Bring it, Porky. Enjoy watching your wobbly little house of cards come crumbling down on top of you. Hope your ass is ready to get buried. Hmm. We'll see how long that big talk lasts. I advise you not to take the five stars lightly. Bye. Thank you, Majima-san. Don't worry about it. The real battle's just starting. We gotta whip this club into fighting shape fast if we want to take them on. Eh. We will. I'll give it all I've got, Majima-san. 
Anytime you want to open the club for business, just let me know. Anytime at all. I've got my hands full of my own place too, so I can't be here around the clock. I'll make a point to drop by whenever I get a minute though. So that's one of Sotenbori's five stars. This might be tougher than I thought. I don't know, he was kind of a pussy bitch, in my opinion. Now that I know, okay, I'm, I'm gonna need to learn the hand signals. Heh, Goro Majima, things are about to get interesting. Wait, wait, who are you? Come back! I'm starting to get why Yamagata Han told me to check out the cabaret clubs, but that ate up more time than I planned. I should get back to the Grand. That did take a fucking long ass time. We'll go this way. Actually, shit, I have to run an ad. I will be right back. Everybody sit tight during the ad. Okay, we are so back. Let's get back to the Grand. Kind of missed her. Even though the Grand is kind of fucking ugly, to be honest with you. I don't like... I don't know. It's too dark in there. I don't want to fucking talk to you guys. Oh, shit. I think I have to. Oh, damn. I got stuck. <laughs> they got me. Thank you, it's good to be back. Oh, we 
just happy to be playing Yakuza 0. I wish it wasn't with Majima, like... He's fine. <laughs> hey, pussy. Fuck out of here. Ooh, we lost some health. You know what that means. We could go to visit our friend and get some Wagyu. <sighs> oh, actually, yeah, that's really fucking expensive for like a sixteenth of my health. There's Mercury. So I'm learning where all of the the locations are. <laughs> Foul death pose. I love the shitty death pose. No, ma. I have to go to work. Sorry. Hi, Grand. Hi. Sir, I'm sorry to interrupt, but do you have a moment? Hmm? A guest in the main hall has asked to speak with you, sir. It's just... What's he look like? Not Japanese, I don't think. I would guess Chinese. Rather short. And... There's no word for it, but ragged. Oh, is it... Short and ragged? Can't be Lee, then. Who in the hell is Lee Chinese? I don't. <clears throat> we didn't. We didn't. Like, so far, all of the Chinese people in this game have talked differently than everyone else. Like, their grammar's shittier. Um. But Lee's is not, so. <clears throat> That's the only difference <clears throat> that I've noticed. Short and ragged can't believe then. Who in the hell is it then? It's probably the dragon and tiger guy. I'll be right there. Sorry, I didn't read it. What table? I'll take you there. If you'll follow me. I'll just hit the RT button. My favorite thing, possibly in the universe, is the follow button. I just press and hold. And fucking off we go. I wish that were the same with the other characters. Um, like following regarding following me or maybe oh I guess it isn't a dragon tiger guy oh wait we saw him with Lee though he was the doctor this is the gentleman sir you wish to see me sir ah manager son remember me the underground doc from Jambalaya yeah I got you Grand, really nice place. Plus all drinks on Manager San's tab, right? Well, look, I got this. I'll deal with him. And whatever his bill is, I'll cover it. Got that? Of course, sir. I wish they'd say, sir, a little quicker. <laughs> Sorry about earlier. You hurt anywhere? Oh, fine, fine. Ancient history. Plus, we outnumber you. You're really strong. Even Lisa can't compete. Haha. <laughs> He's so fucking funny. Whoa. How about you state your business before getting completely wasted? Ah, that right. I came with message from Lisan. Lisan not like to show his face around places like this, so I come instead. A message? Don't worry. I'm not drunk yet. Thank you. Glad to hear that. Get to the message, would ya? Can you leave club right now? I mean, I just fucking got here. It's kind of my job. Yeah, why? You leave club, head straight to your home. You live far away, manager son? Not really, it's like down the road. No, just along the river. Good, good. Once you get home, Lisan contact you. Lisan will be watching from when you leave club. What, he wants to get a bead on where I live? 
I just bring message. No need to know why. I mean... Alright, I got your message. You drink as much as you like tonight. Really? I can't? Such big man! I love generous Nanadu-san! <laughs> so true. We used to be an awful roundabout here. Ah, uh, well, guess I'll dip out for a bit. Already? I mean, Jesus Christ, we just got here! Cloak room. It's weird that that's in English, but what do I know? Maybe it's changed for the English version of the game that I'm playing. Who is to say? Green and red is fucking atrocious. Majima. You need to fix it. Majima. Heh, <laughs> it is you. Who wouldn't recognize that ugly bug? The Grand's manager, Goromajima. I owe you one from last night, pal. Huh? What are you on about? Last night? Sorry. Who are you? He's not ugly, but the ponytail kills me. I know. It's so bad. However, this is the better of the two options. It's either this or the Hitler cut. And we get Hitler cut later. So we have to thank our lucky stars that we get ponytail right now. You'll see what I mean later. I promise. Like, I don't know when he comes back. Like, I'm I'm sure it's, like, the first game or whatever. Because he has to be significant in the grander series. But it's gonna get bad later. And I just know it in my heart of hearts. I think he gets goofier, so it's, like, forgivable. But don't matter who I am. Where'd you put Makoto-chan? I know you hit the girl. Where? Oh, are you from the other night? Okay, I remember you now. <laughs> I forgot! Oh, it's you guys. So glad. Me too, buddy. Yeah, exactly! <laughs> the wannabe kidnappers. <laughs> Didn't expect you to save me the trouble of tracking you clown da clowns down. Smug bastard. You think this is funny? This amuse you? A little bit. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to figuring out why this girl's in everyone's sights. I agree, I am also excited. The fuck you do you think you are? You got us by surprise last night. That ain't happening again. Patches. I only have one eye patch, so you can't count. Dumbass. I knock your head too hard. At this point, we're done fighting fair. Time for you to see where where screwing with the Yakuza gets ya. Motherfucker, I've seen it already. You see this eye patch? I like to have fun. Okay, let's fucking kill him. Let's fucking kill this guy. He's got a gun, so he has to go first. Because that shit's fucking crazy to do. Alright, hit him with the Y. Good boy. Or he didn't- his ass did not hit him with the Y. Okay, stop, 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 stop. If only I had the fucking face breaker. So true. Okay, focus, Majima. He's got a gun. Alright, gun guy has died. We are no longer in severe trouble. It's just guys now. Thank God. Much prefer fighting 15 dudes than fighting one guy with a gun. I, I have a gun, like... I could also kill them if I wanted to, but like, I don't. I don't know. This feels weird, man. To have a gun. Slay. Alright, let's pick some shit up, shall we? Traffic zone. Okay, focus. Oh no, my traffic cone. Ouch. My traffic cone. My traffic cone. 
Your face broke my traffic calm. You know how fucked up that is of you? Really fucked up. Severely fucked up. Alright, let's hit him with the Y. Oh shit, I missed the Y opportunity because I'm being stupid. What the hell are you doing, by the way? Alright, rock on, brother. That's what we like to fucking see. Remember that crazy ass battle with Kiryu? Yeah, I might blow my brains out. That just thinking about it, like that shit was crazy. Pizza. Yeah, got you again, bitch. The, the hell's this guy made of? Who are you? Not so fast, buddy. I thought you had business with me. Sh shit. I know I've I've got questions for you, and I aim to get answers. You raising hell right outside of the club, Mr. Manager? Oh, I really don't want to talk to you right now. I think you might be coming to kill us. Sagawa. Hi. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Did you get mixed up in some kind of trouble? It's not like you to bust head right on bust heads right on your own doorstep, hmm? That's true. It's nothing. Forget it. Then where are you going? Not work, apparently. Have you found Makoto Makimura yet? No, I haven't. Not yet. Huh. And yet, I hear you didn't go home last night. Here I figured that meant you tracked Makimura down. I'm still looking right now. You just gave me the job. I still got time. Not really. I suppose you do. And once you find the target, killing them is the quick part. Still, sooner's better than later. Then are we done here? I don't got time to waste on chit chat. This isn't just chit chat, Tiger. You know what they say about ABC, don't you? Huh? Always be in contact. Rule one of contract is keeping your boss in the loop. A, B, C. All right. Oh, look, we made contact. That's all I got. No snags you want advice on? I'd sooner ask a telephone pole than come to you with my problems. See ya, bitch. Hate your goofy ass. Uh-huh. Pussy. Get out of here. I hate you. You fucking suck. Right. I was headed back home. Lee's got to be watching from somewhere or the other. <coughs> We could go fishing. Was that a criminal? We have to fucking intervene. <laughs> intervene. You know how I love to intervene. When I'm kind of like low on health. Numbers. Okay, bitch. I fucking hate when they come for me from behind. He's kind of fucked up. Not very honorable of you. Rock on, brother. Alright, hit him with Y. That is what life is all about. And that is my favorite thing, thing to say. Life is all about saying, life is all about hitting him with the Y. Thank you for your toughness, Light. I appreciate it. All right, heading home. Don't, don't mind me. I'm just Majima going home to my house in a stupid fashion. Where is my house? What the hell? Oh, it's this way. I forgot it's down. It's me, Majima, going home. Maybe I'll fish a little. I'm just kidding. I don't have time for that. I'm a busy man. Just just going home. <clears throat> I'd hate if any Lees noticed me going home. Deacon. That you, Lee? Uh. Oh my god. Okay, sorry. <laughs> How you holding up, you bear? Hmm. Or, you 
Bear? I don't know. Hmm. You know the trick for to, to forgetting your pain? Is it killing me? Having your balls to the wall. We don't shake these Yakuza now. They'll chase the grass. Ain't got time to be feeling pain till this job's done. Never mind, we're real. He's chilling with us. Yeah, fair enough. Forget me. The hell's up with this place. Huh? How do you mean? This apartment's being watched from all over. Got at least four sets of eyes on it. That... I'm impressed you noticed. Oh, is that all of the, like, homeless people we keep seeing everywhere? Like, they keep making a point of... Man, now I feel really dumb. But, like, that's fine. Like, we keep focusing on these, like, homeless people that make, like, direct eye contact with Bajima while he's out on, like, his terrace and shit. <laughs> Do they know you're hiding, Makoto? No, I haven't been home. Yeah. Nah, this place has been underwatched for a long ass time. My client's but the guy behind the eyes. And there's more around your club, too. Oh, I know. And you can add more on every road leading out of Sotenbori to that list. I ain't allowed out of the city. Why? That's why they're all watching. Keep me from skipping town. So what? This town's your prison cell? Maybe that's why he hates it here so bad. You got it. The hell's that about? You know, I'm curious too. I used to be a Yakuza up in Tokyo. Then I crossed the guy running my family, and my life went down the shitter. Even now, just because they got me on a leash in Osaka, don't mean they won't kill me if oh, I fucking. That's rough. <laughs> we all got our baggage, I guess. But that means we can't just stand here chatting. Let's take this someplace safe. Meet you where Makoto's hiding. Here, I'll show you a route where nobody can follow you. Yeah, how's that work? See, I got a secret door in the back of the patient room at the clinic. Keep it hidden behind a bookshelf. That'll get you through to the building next door. Even if you're being tailed, that passage should be enough to throw most anybody off. Slay. How come a massage clinic's got a secret escape route? Thought I just told you. We all got our baggage. So true. <laughs> they should have gay sex. Just be careful when you're going to where Makoto's at. You got into it outside the Grand before, didn't you? The boys who came from Makoto last night know your face. No telling where they could be watching from. And my hair and my suit. Right, so I'll use your little back door at Higuchi Kaikan. Happy? Thrilled. Once you're through that, head straight for Makoto. I'll meet you there. Got it? I got it. Go on already. His coat is kind of slay, I'm not gonna lie. So fashionable with the fucking sweatpants. First off, I gotta try to figure out whether I'm being watched. Time to play it cool like I'm just strolling around to try and try to suss out where they're watching from. That will be really difficult for me. I'm fucking stupid as hell. Hopefully. That guy, Hisaga was watchdog. See him all over. Might have caught me talking to Lee. Ought to go around and try and keep as low a profile as I can. Are you fucking shitting me? God damn it. <clears throat> fine, fine, bro. I fucking hate sneaking when sneaking, sorry, is really hard to do. Okay. I have to do this one. I'm sorry. I have to go. Oh wait, no. I was right. This is the direction. Whoa. Sorry. Oh hey, our favorite restaurant. Masculine urge to go there. 
it probably won't be this. But I am fucking thinking about it. That would be pretty casual. You gotta give me that. I feel like going this way would be more efficient. Ah. That's fine. We didn't have to fight them, so that's kind of whatever. Looks like more of Saga was clowns. Guess the bastards got everywhere I might want to go on lockdown. Ah, kill uh, on another exhausting day. I'm ready for a nice massage to be my busted up body back into some kind of shape. Literally me doing the fucking. It's me, Goro Majima, head into my house. Like that. I can't believe he did that shit for real. Hopefully that'll keep him thinking I'm it's still inside a while. Long enough to find the store and get gone anyway. <laughs> Alright, he said there was a bookshelf blocking the door. Well, that won't be a fucking problem. There's nothing fucking here. How's this? Here it is. Son of a bitch really had a secret passage. That is not a fucking bookshelf. But luckily there's four things in this particular building, so it wasn't difficult to find. It's supposed to connect to the building next door. Next door. Guess I'll see for myself. Can we move the bookshelf back when we're done? Just curious. I like how they were like, we're not animating all that. <laughs> kind of a sleigh, admittedly. Never thought something like this was here yesterday. Even if I was being followed before, I'm clear now. Now to haul ass to where the girl is. Yeah, that'll fucking go well. I'm really good at traveling. Notoriously. Notoriously, classically good at getting around. There's eyes up ahead. Can't go get myself seen after going through the trouble of shaking them off of me. Looks like they ain't seen me yet. Gotta keep my distance. Hold on. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Oh good, it's fucking Mr. Shakedown. Thank God, my favorite motherfucker. There's eyes up ahead. Oh my God, okay, Jesus Christ. There's eyes this way too, dumbass. Where do you want me to go? Oh. Or is this just a, a dickhead who likes to run into people? I think it's one of the dickheads oh. who likes to run. Fuck off, man, you ran into me. I think I just don't run into him and he should be fine. Cause there's assholes that like to fuck around and find out. Okay. Shh. God. Fuck. There's oh. motherfuckers this way, though, too. Oh, hold on. What the hell? Who are you? It's me. Bob Utsunomiya Zero. Guess what I have for you? I guess nothing of interest. Soot and Bori fun pack. I don't, but it's for you and it's free, you know? I guess. <laughs> well, I guess we're fucking going this way. I'm just chilling. I'm just fucking chilling. I'm just sitting here. Hopefully they're just good tonight. Yakuza, because so long as we keep it in this alley, we won't have any fucking issues. Pink Pants is kind of a crazy fashion Kind of a slow. You enjoy yourself. Ow, motherfucker. Whoops. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm gonna die before I get there. Oh my god. Okay, focus. Okay, good night. I like how all of the little fuckers who come out to kill you all have names as if I'm going to take the fucking time to learn any of them. Okay, what's this do? I just kind of wanted to see how much it did, not necessarily use it. 
Though, that around then would have been a good time. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Here. Beautiful, beautiful. Not a soul noticed. Good. Nobody's looking. If I'm going in, now's the time. Then fucking go in! What a, what's stopping ya? Oh good, she's still here. Ah! Oh. Oh. It's me. I'm coming in. The doors look a lot bigger on the outside. Huh? Hmm? What? Your boy Lee already get here? Yep. He's out getting us something to drink. He said he'd be right back. What's with the envelope? I don't know. Nissan said to have you open it. That makes sense. You can't see. <laughs> no disrespect. Wow. Really... The hell. the hell is this? What was inside it? Photos of some young lady. Lots of them. All the same girl. Surveillance shots. Lee-san brought photos? What for? I don't know. I don't know who this chick is. Yo! Already digging in? Nice shots, huh? I guess. Lee, what's up with these photos? Easy, Tiger. Don't get your panties bunched up. I'm about to explain. You can't come up with a nickname for him and expect me not to be like, okay, time to have gay sex. That's like crazy of you to think. Not after what we did. Here, drink up. Thanks, Lisan. Got one for you too. Thanks, man. Two handed like a fucking sippy cup. Lee. Lee. These photos are that big plan you were talking about? Who the hell is she? Serial marriage fraudster this chick, and it gets better. The, guy who fall, the guys who fall for her got a bad habit of dying. I didn't catch it. You ask me, she drains him dry, then serves him a lot worse than divorce papers. But even this monster's got her redeeming features. Take her age and build. Awful close to Makoto's, yeah? Oh. Okay. Interesting plan you have here. Kill someone else. Well, I guess she's a murderer, so I feel like that's what I'm supposed to think. As... Okay, I'll hear you out. What of it? Okay, I knew there was some weird shit in there. I just didn't want to say it. <laughs> you put it in mine too? Fuck off. Those drugs really pack a punch. Lee, what the hell are you thinking? What comes next ain't for her ears. She's just an innocent... Helpless woman. I think she should kill the other girl. <laughs> I think she should do it. As a little treat for her, she should get to do the killing. So, time for a little nap. Huh? Huh? You're awful dense for a hitman. Yeah, we kill the girl. The yeah, no, I'm on board when she was the dumb one. I promise. I promise, Lee. I'm in it. The girl in those photos? She's Makoto's do body double. Body double? Look, when somebody calls in a hit, what is it they actually want? Results that their target's dead. Exactly. Results. And the result of a murder's a dead body. You offer up a body, your boss is happy. Which is why we take the girl in the photos. And have her volunteer for the role instead of Makoto. 
Now just uh no, you, you and me will do the job. I'm fucking with you. I understood from the moment you said Trust the body in this. Ah, uh, don't like redressing the body, to be honest with you, but sure, we'll keep going. When the cops go to verify her ident identity, it's me they'll be coming to. So I'll give them their answer. No doubt about it, that's my poor little employee. And boom. You stupid! As soon as they start investigating, they'll see it ain't the same girl. That's fine. After she's dead, we give the girl a face job. With God's hand. Oh my god. As long as she's unrecognizable, we're in the clear. Uh, and a little acid takes fin fingerprints right off. You ever, you idiot. Haven't you ever heard of the dental shit that they do? So we gotta get rid of the teeth as well. His absolute be I know. I'm kind of on board. He's kind of slaying. I'm- The fuck are you, man? Yeah, he's fucked up. I'm a big fan. I am a big fan. Don't- I don't love woman murder, but you gotta do what you gotta do, I suppose. It's the fucking dumbass coat, and then the- I know it's a tank top underneath, and then the fucking sweatpants. He's dripped out like no one I've ever seen in my life. I want the truth. Just who the hell are you? Cause you just ain't you ain't just a goddamn acupuncturist. Yeah, he's got tattoos, which means he's probably a user. You got nothing to say? Used to be the same as you. Oh, just a hitman. A hitman. The music is fucking love song. What? Did contract work for a mainland organization. My last job was about six months back. Six months? Wait, that's around when you said you took in the girl. Were you gonna kill her too? That's great. Good memory. <laughs> but try thinking that one through. The girl was organization property, locked away. How was I gonna get her? You think she was just lying on the side of the road? Wait, what the hell? Six months back, I took a job running a raid on some Korean mafia. Turf war over the slave trade. They'd already killed a bunch of our men. Oh, so we freed her. Kind of a sleigh. Okay, why are some fucking lines so goddamn long and i read it with time to spare but then there are other lines where they're just like da -da 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 -da, and that's it and i'm still in the middle of mine fuck jesus <laughs> kind of fucked up there was two of them in that storehouse after killing them i'm left with a room full of half naked girls in cages as soon as i unlocked the doors they all bolted Except for her. God damn it. Because she's blind. All except one. One of them couldn't move an inch. Because she was asleep. And that's... Yeah. That was Makoto. She starts reaching out in the dark for my hand. Totally blind. Ugh. She should start killing people. Once she found it, she latched on and wouldn't let go. Just knelt there crying and saying thank you over and over. Her hand was so tiny, man. I couldn't bear to let go. So you've been playing Big Daddy to her ever since. Majima, did you have to say it like that? Just curious. I'm just curious. Yeah, see, way back in the day, I really was a father. Yeah? She was always real sick, even as a baby. The side effects of the drugs she needed were real rough. By the end, she could barely see. That grip on my hand, it was just like the one I remembered. This is getting a little emotional for me. 
Man back up, my brother. Majima, I ain't about to let, to let a daughter die before my eyes again. Okay, rock on, brother. If it's to protect my girl, I'll kill any stranger you put in front of me. Kind of this way. I know it ain't right, but I got no other options left. Are we doing, like, a gay dads thing? I'm, I'm getting a gay dads vibe here. Y do you see what I mean? <laughs> but I got no other options left. I don't remember if I read that, so I read it again. It has a little bit of treat. And you're gonna help me with it, Mishima. I need you to report back to your boss that Makoto's dead. Sure, whatever you need. Damn fool. Huh? Huh? You ain't giving the Yakuza near enough credit. He'll see through a trick like that in no time. Alright, so what are the plans that we got here? You got any bright ideas? We're done talking here. Count me out of this. But you already agreed, dumbass. He'll kill you, bitch. You just gonna run away again? I mean, this is kind of our only option. What are we supposed to do if not this? I'm sorry I keep pausing. It's almost 10 o'clock, so I probably shouldn't pause anymore, but I'm mentally ill, so fuck you. Um, but, like, this is kind of our only option. Like, what else are we supposed to do? Uh, 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 not kill her, not arrive back with the body, and then be hunted down. Kiryu style. Where I have to- I have to do all the fighting! Majima? <laughs> Fucking dipshit? I'm doing all the work! Fuck! So, let's just kill this random woman that no one cares about <laughs> and move on. And, and uh, at least it'll buy us some time. <laughs> Don't think I can't tell. You lost that eyes, eye of yours from running away, just like you are now. I mean, not really. It was more like running into a battle, but whatever. Excuse me? Sure, you got your justification. But I'll bet you came all this way without ever getting your hands dirty, acting like a damn wire boy. But you're Yakuza, no better than me. Once a man steps into the shadows like that, he's black as night until the day he dies. In that case, sack up and meet me. Meet hell halfway already. Sorry. You don't know a damn thing about me. Are we gonna fight? I'll ask just one more time. You're sure you won't join me in handling this? Kind of, I mean, this is kind of the arc, man. We gotta... No way in hell. Alright. In that case, I'll show you how we do things in the shadows. Oh, we are so fucking fighting him. We should have gay sex right after. Can't have anybody who knows about this little plan leaving this room alive. Slay. I want you to as prepared for this. It's over, Majima. Hey, I wasn't ready. I didn't. I should have gone to eat. It's fine. I, I'll i use that when it comes to that. We'll be fine. Maybe. Oh my god, he has three bars of health. He's green, and then yellow, and then he- oh shit. And then he will be orange. That is so fucked, we're not gonna fucking make it. What the hell does- whoa! Does he have needles? That's crazy. Oh! God, take this beat my ass! Get up, Papa! Okay, hit him with the Y. Hit him with the fucking Y. That's right. Alright, pick up this couch. I can't believe he just blocked the couch. Like, that's bonkers. I like how she's just sitting there. Good for her. Happy for her. Hope you enjoy your nap, queen. Okay. Let's fucking... Oh, shit. Alright, that's the fucking spirit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my god, Al. Oh my god, Al. 
Happy nap! Another girl moment, so true. Okay, I don't want to fucking talk to you right now. Yeah. You stopped being weird over there. Oh, shit. Oh, no, do I have to fucking... He is so cool. Have a taste of the gun hand! Woo! I'm so bad at those. Okay. Don't panic. I might have to do it again. Remember your buttons. I'm remembering my buttons. I'm really bad at remembering my buttons. You're doing well. It's so totally not fair that they kind of fucked with us a little bit in the middle of the battle and I didn't have this. Oh, God. Don't fucking panic. Just keep at it, King. Maybe a little heal in a minute. Okay. Okay. We'll go ahead and get that heal on. We'll get that fucking heal. Shall we? I think we shall. Just a little one. Just a, just a bit. Just a bit. Never a little heal. Never fucking hurt anybody. Okay, are you are you done being annoying? Oh shit, he, he almost got me. But I'm I'm hot. Okay. Get up, motherfucker. This game, I feel, is made for me because a lot of my problems can be solved by simply throwing punches. Oh shit, he got me pretty bad there. So, I mean, there's a little bit of like, think about what you're doing elements, but I feel like most of the time I can get through things without getting too... Hold on, just a quick, just another quick one, just another quick one. Oh okay, what do we use the power for? Oh, my balls! Oh shit, he got me. Oh my god, he got me really bad. Get up, motherfucker. How are we playing? Oh, I forgot she was drugged. I was like, how is she not waking up from her little nap? I forgot it wasn't really a nap. It was a drug situation. Oh my good lord. She should probably wake up soon. I have a feeling she's going to have something to do with this, um, with the solution to this, uh, issue. Because she, I feel like she'll probably like us due to the fact that we are similar in a way, you know what I mean? Like, us being like, I was in a cage, she was in a cage, my eye was fucked up, her eyes are fucked up, you know what I mean? Oh, wait, Majima. Majima. There really ain't other, uh, any other option than a body double. If I want to keep Makoto safe from here on, I need Makoto's dead body. And so do we. Otherwise, someday, somebody a lot meaner than you is going to track her down and kill her. Not to mention you'll be long dead by then. How can you not see that? He's stupid. If and when that happens, all I gotta do then is kill everybody who comes gunning for me. He is crazy. What? You can't seriously think you can. You said it. Once you step into the shadows, you stay in black for life. No getting that mark off you. But. You can still choose who you bring down with you. You've got my answer. Hey, stop it! Man, these dudes are so dramatic. What the fuck? Wait, what was that before? Don't let her catch cold now. She's like your daughter, is she?
I do not understand this decision. At all. In the fucking slightest. Like, I just... I'm not... I'm not getting it. Now what? Yeah, let's go fucking talk to Saga... Sag I... Sagawa? I don't actually remember his name. But he's a f motherfucker and I'll kill his ass as soon as I get the opportunity. Oh good, another dramatic fucking gay ass moment. What a weirdo. I feel like that shouldn't have stayed in one piece, but I don't know anything about cigarettes, so slay. <sighs> okay, you're gonna think on it and you're gonna go back in and help, right? The hell am I even doing? You're gonna go back in and help, right? No, he's not gonna go back in and help. I'm not gonna make it. S simply, uh, simply said, I'm not gonna fucking make it. This makes three days. Didn't wind up changing much. If anything, things are worse now than before. Jigs up as soon as Sagawa finds out I'm keeping the girl alive. Can't risk heading to the storehouse now. Better play it cool and head to the Grand like normal. Yeah, that's a good fucking idea. Like, I don't... Even if we were discovered that it wasn't actually Makoto, we could have run off. I I don't know. I guess we can't leave Sotenbori because we're in prison or whatever. Oh, we're we're going to the fucking Grand. We do not have a choice. Can't even fucking save. Jesus Christ. Hope, hopefully there's a save on the way. There is! Because it's 10.08, so we have to get out of here. Ah. Save the game. Thank you, I will. I don't want to stop playing. I hate having a bedtime, man. This shit sucks. It's self-imposed and everything. Like, I literally can just do whatever I want. I'm a grown-ass man. But I got shit to do tomorrow. Nice. I get it. I'd like to put this. Love you, Yakuza, even though it was a little more boring than yesterday. I think ye yesterday, wow, nothing can top it, really. Um, um, but it was still, it was still pretty good. I, I, I guess I just don't, like, m at first... Majima's arc was 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 just as fun as Kiryu's, um. But now I'm mentally ill, and uh, <laughs> um, no, I just like Kiryu better overall. So I feel like I'm just generally going to be disappointed. I mean that the ending of the chapter where like we were about to kill her was crazy, but now we're not gonna kill her. We just ended off at a boring point. I think is the only issue here. Okay, I'm going to look for someone to raid as a treat. Um, what are we thinking? You are very welcome for stream time. Also, hi, Naj. Um, hope you're good. I added a couple more games to my, to my raid list. One of them is deeply unserious. First of all, never, no one ever plays Cinderella Phenomenon. Second of all, everyone who plays it is taking it seriously. And my ass does not take it seriously. <laughs> um, so I feel like 
rating it to someone who does take it seriously would probably be a little disrespectful. No one ever fucking plays Pyre. Oh, but someone's playing Pyre right now. So I have to... Oh, they won, though. They probably won the game. You are very welcome, stream. Um... I don't want to... I was doing good with New Week. Not that I streamed all that much. Okay, hold on. A slime Rancher is good. Typically. So Slime Rancher is very bad. Wow. Too high. Mm -mm. Stardew Valley, maybe. Looking for someone to raid is always such a pain in the fucking ass. Especially when I'm looking for somebody new. I yearn for the mines, so true. I also yearn for the Stardew Valley mines. Damn, I want to play Stardew Valley now. Worst decision I've ever fucking made in my life. Because I was pretty decently far along in the um, update. I think he added a couple of extra things um, for 1.6.4, I think. Because he was fixing some bugs. But then he added some stuff. Oh my god, the farm is so pretty too. My farm is fuck ugly. My farm is just disgusting to look at because I picked the, um, the, the, the cliffside farm, which split, it's divided by like a small stream, which is virtually fucking useless, um, because they, you can't, you want to fish in that? Don't bother. Nothing good. Um, but it's divided by a stream and then there's like cliff areas that like split up um, smaller chunks of land. And you can use them for farming or you can use them to put like animals on. But overall, it makes the farm super fucking hard to design. Like it's crazy difficult. Um <clears throat> Anyway, we're raiding into them. They're playing Stardew Valley, obviously. Um, I will see everybody tomorrow for Bully Hardcore. Bully Saturday is fucking back, baby. We've got Hardcore Mode. Hopefully I can get it working. If we can't, I will simply play the Wii version with the actual Wii Remote. And Nunchuck, which I did not do last time, so... Um, and then we'll probably put that on pause. As soon as I get the hardcore mod working, I'll start over and we'll just fucking do that. All right. Good plan. I will see everybody tomorrow for that. Got to be out there. I love you.